Bryce Underwood getting flipped from the LSU Tigers to the hometown Michigan Wolverines. Number one recruit in the country, let alone at the quarterback position. That is, that is a huge get for any team. But when you look at what it does for Michigan, I mean, at this point, everyone is wondering why they didn't go get a quarterback last year in the transfer portal. Now they go and get the biggest recruit that is out there. What can that do for the team? Do you guys just want me to riff here? Or? Yep. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Go, go ahead. for it. I'll go turn ahead. my mic well, off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got I'll pull up a blanket here. and I'll go ahead. Here's, here's the thing. Obviously, LSU is going to be fine, right? LSU was not in the position that Michigan <laughs> was. Here's the thing. If Michigan couldn't afford to lose Bryce Underwood more than Michigan needed Bryce Underwood. And the reason for that is you can't have the quarterback situation that Michigan has this year, where if you would get a good freshman to come in, he is starting no matter what. And that's one of the primary things that you can use in recruiting is early playing time. So Bryce Underwood had early playing time here. He's also 20 minutes down the road from Michigan. So he's in your backyard and you're also reportedly offering him like several million dollars. If you do all of that, and the guy still says no to you, that's a really horrible look. And in recruiting, perception is everything. So Michigan couldn't really afford to take that hit. But what it gets, it gets a starting quarterback for, for next year. It gets a bunch of recruiting momentum that a staff that actually does know how to recruit can seemingly capitalize on. And there's hope for next year. So Sharon Moore bought himself a bunch of goodwill at a time when they very much needed something to go right. Because Michigan went from the national championship to irrelevant by mid-October this year. And the way that college football is right now, that, that slide can really snowball. And that, it's hard to dig out of. We saw it with Rich Rod and Brady Hoke. But if you, just ha you can have a bad year, you can have a blip year, and bounce back and be fine. It's when those bad recruiting classes and bad years start to stack up that you really dig yourself into a deep hole. So this was as big as everyone is saying it is, and possibly even bigger. And I don't care what Michigan paid. We don't know what the number is, 5, 8, 12, whatever people are saying. Whatever they paid, it was worth it because they needed a boost like this. I think you're right. Perception changes everything because this is, no matter what, no matter what happens this weekend, this is probably their biggest win of the season. This is their biggest recruiting win arguably ever. Uh, when you consider all of the circumstances. I mean, obviously, I wasn't really around for like the Drew Henson recruitment that people have referenced and stuff like that. But since recruiting services have been popular and, and have been so big, this is by far the biggest win. I have a question. What is your confidence level in Sharon Moore being the guy to lead Bryce Young and develop him and take this team forward? Is Underwood. he, is he uh, the guy? Bryce, <laughs> sorry. Bryce Underwood, yeah. Um, Bryce yeah. Young. Sharon <laughs> Moore should not be the one developing Bryce Underwood. Sharon Moore should be hiring the person who develops Bryce Underwood. And I don't believe that person <clears throat> is on staff. Um, Michigan is going to, in my opinion, have their pick of the litter if they have an open offensive coordinator position this offseason because they've got, well, first of all, they're Michigan, all the resources financially that you could ask for, and they've got a great quarterback to work with. So if, they, if that position comes open, they should be able to get anyone who's not up for a head coaching job in the entire country. All righty. Big win for Michigan on the recruiting trail. Will they potentially get a big win or at least cover <laughs> Ken? We shall see on Saturday as they take on Ohio State. 20 and a half. 20 and a half. <laughs> He's always worried about the cover. Yeah. <laughs> Still more to come here on Detroit Sports Plus. We'll dive into Michigan State. They have their season finale against Rutgers. Also, the Red Wings and Pistons both going through some tough times right now. We'll chat about it coming up after the break.